Hey there, Warrior of the Web! In this video, we are going to create this digital rain from famous movie The Matrix. And down in the description below, you have a link to a public GitHub repository of this component, and you can just take it and put it wherever you want. While you're there, you can also like this video to keep the blood flowing in my veins and to push this YouTube algorithm. So, Let's start! So we have here a fresh copy of Next.js and first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new components directory and inside digital rain.tsx component and I'm going to use my React snippets to create a component and here it is! So that one is going to be a client component for sure because we are going to use React hooks. So here we are going to create canvas and that one we need a reference so we are going to create here our canvas reference like this and we are going to import our use ref from react so this is the reason why we need this use client and our background needs to be black because we are creating that matrix digital rain so cursor already knows what are we creating probably from digital rain.tsx name and from this name also of the component and we are going to add here the width full and height full so we can fill in that whole background and let's test this one out now on our page so here i'm going to remove all these things and put only the digital rain so i'm deleting everything from our index page default index page from Next.js, here it is, and let's test it out, so now we have a big black screen, so this is good, now here we want to create all that falling digital rain, so let's see how are we going to do that, so we are going to create here inside of our digital rain component, we need to put first one use effect, like this, and we are going to import it from React also, so this is the second reason why this one needs to be a client component. Now we need to create a bunch of columns and in each column we need to drop letters to create that digital rain animation. So I don't know where is cursor getting this new rain, we don't have that, we need to create everything from scratch ourselves, so I'm going to create new canvas variable and in case there is no canvas we are just going to break this use effect and now we need our 2d context so i'm going to create context like this so here we are getting canvas get context 2d and if there is no context we are again going to break the use effect and this is a great moment maybe to ask do you prefer me working in cursor or in visual studio because I'm not sure if this annoys you when cursor is already giving me everything that I want. I mean, it's faster, but again, maybe it's not something that you prefer. So now we are setting our canvas width, which is going to be our inner width and inner height of our window. So that's the full size. And we need our font size and it can be 16, like cursor said, and here it's already giving we need our number of columns and that is canvas width and divided by font size so that's going to be number of columns that we have now we need our drops and here it is we are creating an empty array and that one should be array full of numbers and we are going through our columns with a for loop and we are setting each drop to be just like this one. So this is for tracking the position of our drops and this one means that it is going to start from the top. Now we need our characters that are going to drop from that digital rain. So that one, oh, it's already giving us, I think these are the exact characters that we need for matrix. So let's check it out. It's digital rain matrix and we are going to search it on Google. So let's see how does it look yeah i think those are the exact characters that we need yes that one looks exactly the same with i think at least i'm not sure if these are like, like japanese letters or what it is but let's use it let's see how is it going to look and now we need our draw function so we need to put somehow these characters inside 
of our columns and that one is going to be just like this so we are filling the style with some color and then we are filling the rectangle and we have here our canvas width and canvas height so here we have something it's possibly null and probably this one also we are just going to say if not context return or if not canvas like this so now we are type error free nice and now we need to fill our characters with some green color and we need to put our font so we have already our font size of 16 that one is good so let's see which color is this one so i'm just going to search vibrant green i guess that's the color from matrix let's try it out if that's not the one we can just change it and now we need to go through each of our drops and here it is like this and we are here getting i'm going to delete this so i can explain it to you here we are getting the random character from our characters here so we are just getting it by rounding it up and here we are getting the random and we are getting it for our character's length so here i'm going to console log this text so you can see what are we actually getting text like this and here i'm going to console log also the drops so you can check that one out also so here if we inspect and we put here the console and refresh you can see that we are getting 62 times number one so that's what we are doing here inside of this four now we need to set an interval that is going to call our draw function and we are going to do it here so below the function and there we are going to create interval id and that one is going to be set interval and 33 that's basically 30 fps and then we are just going to clear our interval so let's see now what are we getting now if i refresh the screen you see that we are getting random characters on each 33 what's it called i cannot remember 0 0.33 seconds and we can now actually draw all these characters on our screen so that one should now be easy we have everything that is needed here instead of this console log we are just going to fill the text like this so we are doing context fill text we are putting our random character that we are getting from our characters and we are putting here the font size so that's basically the width and here we are getting our iteration from the drops and we are also putting the font size for that one so let's see how does it look and now if i refresh you can see what is happening so we are creating everything in our first row so now we just need to drop all of those characters to go down in each iteration or in each interval so how are we going to do it it's easy in each iteration we are just going to say that we are going to put our drops e plus plus like this and this one is going to increment our positioning on the screen so it's going to be first row second row third row fourth row so now if we go here and refresh we are seeing that we are getting everything from zero till the end so now we just need to randomize also that sequence so we just need to reset it here we need to put one simple if and we can say if this drop and multiplied by font size so that's our size is bigger than canvas height then we are just returning our drop to zero i'm going to delete this one now so you can see how does it look without this randomize and now if i refresh we are getting everything and then it's going to be in waves so we have one perfect sequence and that's going from zero till the end of the screen and it's happening like all the time over and over again when here it becomes too big it's just returning to zero and then it continues to increment from zero till the end of the screen so now we just need to return this random and what is this bringing us that we have 
all these columns starting randomly and not at the same time. So now when I save this and I refresh my screen, after this first row, we are getting our digital rain. And I think it looks exactly like in matrix. Let's see it again. Here it is. And you saw that we have a problem when we are changing our width, we need to fix this one also. So it can like do this without getting ugly. We can just create here under the interval, the new function, it can just be called handle resize. Yes, like this. And it's already doing its thing. So here we're adding an event listener to just check for the resize. And if resize happened, we just need to do the same thing over and over again. So let's try it out now. I'm refreshing. And here we have our digital rain and I'm changing and it's just restarting each time that we resize. So that one is good. And let's try it out all over again. So here, when I refresh, we have our digital rain working and this one can be really interesting for your portfolio or somewhere to put it's you can look like a hacker i hope you like this video warriors if you want more content like this tell me in the comments share subscribe and all the nice things see you